The genus Amanita is known to be dangerous because it has so many poisonous or even deadly poisonous species. But this guy, despite its seemingly poisonous appearance, is in fact edible. It is the famous Amanita Jacksoni, or the American Caesars. The Jacksoni is quite easy to identify if you know where to look. Here are five key features to help you properly identify this mushroom. First, the cap. The cap of a Jacksoni is bright red or bright orange. It's bold, meaning it's without warts and patches. The cap is convex at first and then flats out with the age. Second, the gills. The gills are closely spaced and are yellow, which is quite distinct, as most Amanitas have white gills. Third, the stem. The stem is also yellow, and sometimes you can see orangish fibers on it. The stem is more or less equal, meaning that it has no bulb at its base. Fourth, the Jacksoni has a skirt-like ring. Fifth, it also features a large, white cup-like vulva that encloses the base of the stem. I've made an identification checklist here. A mushroom has to possess all these characteristics in order to be identified as a Jacksoni. If you find hard to decide whether one attribute applies or not, assume the specimen is not a Jacksoni and not edible. Spore print is not so important in this case, because many Amanitas drop a white spore print, including the Jacksoni. And here is a quick test. Try to decide whether a mushroom is a Jacksoni or not. Orange cap, but no ring or vulva. Nay. This is a irasula. Red cap, yes. But the underside features pores instead of gills. Nay. This is a bolitus. Bright orange cap, but with very prominent warts. Nay. This is an amanita, but not a Jacksoni. Yellow cap, yellow warts, and white gills, definitely the name. In fact, the warts can easily fall off, so be cautious. White gills with no vulva, nay. Again, white gills and no prominent vulva, nay. Yellow gills, but with warts, without rain, and the vulva is not prominent at all, nay. This one, with warts, and the vulva barely exists, nay. Bright red cap, check. Yellow gills, check. 
yellow stem without bulb, check, skirt like ring, check, and a very large cup like vulva, check. So, a Jacksoni without doubt. White gills, no ring, vulva is not cup-like or sack-like, nay. This one, with its orange cap and yellowish gills, looks really like a Jacksoni. Yet, it has no ring and the vulva is not prominent, so nay. Another nay, because the cap is more yellowish rather than reddish, plus the gills are whitish. This guy may or may not have a ring. I can't tell from the picture. Nevertheless, the cap is not flat, but depressed, so I'll pass. Okay, one more example. Bright orange cap, yes. Yellowish stem with some fibers on it, yes. Skirt like ring, yes. But there's no prominent vulva and the gills are white. Thus, another pass. In some Asian and European countries, the Caesar is considered a choice edible. But if you ask me, I personally don't think the American Caesar is worth eating at all. When cooked up, they shrink considerably and take on a strong earthy flavor. So basically, the best and only way to consume them is to have them in raw. And I cannot think of much good of them other than adding touches of brightness to your salad. Given that it has so many inedible and poisonous lookalikes, the best thing to do is to leave them alone. You won't be missing anything.